So you're about to have your pole barn sprayed and you're really excited to see that nice smooth spray foam on the walls and ceiling. But how smooth should it really be? Let's talk about it. One never ending debate is how smooth could or should Closel foam be. Now specifically this comes up a lot when you're looking at a pole barn type of construction because you usually have wide open flat tur surfaces to spray onto and this is where you see a lot of pictures on the internet of super super flat and smooth close cell. Now again this is something have that conversation with your customer up front to establish what they are expecting. If they're expecting paper thin well that's not realistic unless you really fill a cavity and then cut it back and then you can have it super paper smooth, but that's gonna add a lot of time and cost most likely to the project. Now, in reality, the foam should be smooth in the sense that it should be consistent. And there's a ton of factors that come into play. So for example, this particular building that we're in, the corrugations on the outside walls were two inches deep, which is a little bit uh, deeper than your average pole barn steel siding. So again, that's gonna add a little bit of complication. And there are some steps that you can take to overcome that as a sprayer. So you can fill the valleys first. And there's a, a bunch of different stuff that comes into play as far as techniques. But again, establish that expectation with your customer. Something like this on your walls is very reasonable to be expected. Now, if it's very inconsistent or if you want the job done very quickly, it would be hard for your sprayers to achieve something like this because it takes a certain amount of time, spacing and distance, all sorts of techniques to achieve a flatter surface. So again, if that's your key priority, make sure you convey that to the contractor. And if you're a contractor, make sure you're finding out, do they want something that's really smooth or do they not care because they're gonna cover it up anyways? Make sure you're having those conversations. And yes, be aware if you want something that's smoother, it's gonna take a little bit longer. It's gonna take that sprayer a little bit more finesse to achieve that look. So if you think this could help you with your pole barn, go to our link below, go to our find a dealer page to see if your local retro foam dealer can help you in your pole barn. This is the Professor Foam reminding you that building is a science.